Okay, in the introduction, I showed you a lot of pictures of boats peeing over the side. And I'm going to explain marine air conditioning in a little more detail in a minute. But before we do that, I'd like to go over how air conditioning works in general so that it makes more sense. Um, <clears throat> whenever a gas expands, like in a spray can, and you spray it for a long time, you'll feel the can get cold. Whenever you use your gas grill, you'll notice that the top of the cylinder gets cold. When something goes from being a liquid to a gas, and expands, it has a cooling effect. And that's the basic principle behind air conditioning. In your car or truck, what happens is there's a compressor up here that's driven by a belt in the engine, and there's a radiator in front of the regular radiator, or sometimes it's part of the same radiator as your car, that's taking the heat from inside of the vehicle and putting it on the outside. And that's why when you're driving your car on the highway, the air conditioner is much more effective with lots of air flowing through it than it is sitting in city traffic. In your house or in your business, you probably have a unit like this. This takes the heat from inside the house or inside the building and puts it outside of, of that space. And the way it does that is it's like a big radiator like on your car or truck. It has a lot of surface area and there's a fan here that's drawing air through and taking the heat away. There's really no way to make cold. All you can do is move heat from one place to another. Even your refrigerator at home, you'll find that the outside case is hot or maybe a wine cooler, you feel hot air down near your toes. The heat's not going away. The heat's being moved from inside the space to outside the space. And that's all an air conditioning does, air conditioning unit does. This is actually a 16,000 BTU unit out of a small boat. Um, I want to show you the difference here with air conditioning for a boat versus a home or a vehicle. It's really not convenient to have a radiator mounted on the, on the front of a boat. The salt water would quickly corrode it. It's not convenient to have that big unit like you have on your house anywhere on a boat. And on a boat, we have the advantage of having unlimited water. And water is actually a much better tool at removing heat. If you think about it, you can have a jacket on and be out in very cold weather and you can live a long time. But if you fall in very cold water, you'll get hypothermia very quickly. And that's because water is a much better conductor of heat than air is. In a marine unit, when you saw those units peeing in the beginning, what was happening was there was a water pump. It was taking water from the bottom of the boat. It was pumping it through the unit and going over overboard. The water going overboard was much hotter than the water when it came in. And the heat from inside the boat was now in that water. The way that works is there's a gas line, very much like, a, like we saw in the spray can, of liquid. That hot liquid is going here, and this tube runs inside of this tube, the whole length of it, kind of like a straw inside a glass of water. The relatively cool water from underneath the boat is cooling the hot gas or hot liquid that's going through this line and taking the heat away. Now, instead of like in the spray can where I'm losing the gas, I'm recycling the gas in an air conditioning unit. So the gas is recompressed. So after the gas goes from, after we go from a liquid to a gas and we take the heat away, we recompress the gas and make it a liquid again. And that keeps going and keeps going. And that cycle is done by the compressor. This is the compressor here. The compressor um, on the home unit out there was inside that unit. It's five times that size, of course. The compressor in the truck or the car is a, is a round unit driven by a belt. So they all function with the same type of systems inside. There are many different ways of accomplishing all of this, but in the end, what you care about in a marine air conditioner is you need to be, be sure that you're taking the heat away from the boat. And if there's no water flow, you're not taking the heat away, the unit overheats and shuts down. And that's the number one problem with a marine air conditioning unit. So when you're looking at boats, just understand that the principles are the same, but we're using water to cool the boat instead of using an air heat exchanger like we do on a car, truck, or home. Okay, we're back in a larger vessel now. This boat's about 53 feet long. And as the boats get larger and you have more areas to air condition that you want independent control of, it makes more sense to have more of a centralized plant like you would in a, in a large building. 
and then have separate air handlers for each region. So this is called a chilled water system. And unlike the system I showed you earlier, um, we've these separate chillers do nothing but make cold water. So instead of making cold air for a room, these three chillers that are two tons each or 24,000 BTUs each, um, they use, still use salt water to take the heat away as in the other unit. But the result of taking that heat away is cooling water. Think of it like a water, hot water heater. A hot water heater heats water and then at all the faucets in your house, you can open the faucet and you can get hot water. Well, in this system, the chillers are making cold water and in each room, there's an air handler, which is like a little radiator and a blower, and it lets the cold water run through its coils and it has a fan, but all of the function of making something cold or taking the heat away um, is down here. So all the noise is down here. The running of the salt water through these lines happens down here. So now in the nine different areas where I have an air conditioner thermostat in this boat, all I need to do is run this, this insulated line up to that room and have a very small unit in that room that does nothing more than have cold water flowing through a coil with a fan. So it greatly simplifies the uh, air conditioning system in the boat because now I don't have to have salt water running to and from each one of those different zones in the boat. The system's more expensive. You typically find it on, you know, 50 foot and up, maybe 100 foot and up boats, because it's probably another $20,000 to build the boat this way. Um, it does last longer, and the units uh, perform better because the salt water comes in through a very large opening. It goes through a very short distance through large pipes and goes overboard. So when you see this boat pee, it's much larger. Uh, volume of water coming out of the boat um, because it's really doing the, the same function as seven to nine of the smaller units I showed you earlier. And again, that's called a chilled water system.